Thank you for your time. My name is Betula, and this is Food for Thought. There is something I'd like to read to you. Try to learn to breathe deeply, really to taste food when you eat, and when you sleep, really to sleep. Try as much as possible to be wholly alive with all your might. And when you laugh, laugh like hell. And when you get angry, get good and angry. Try to be alive. William Saroyen, Ernest Hemingway. Every time you train, train with the motivation and purpose that you will be the hardest person someone ever tries to kill. Tim Kennedy. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Bruce Lee. The greatest romance is with the infinite. You have no idea how beautiful life can be. Paramam Ram Hansa Yogananda. Life really does begin at 40. Up until then, you're just doing research. Carl Jung. I would rather be a hot mess of bold action than a perfectly organized coward. Brendan Burchard. The longer I live, the more beautiful life becomes. Franklin Lloyd Wright. You don't have to be crazy to be my friend, although it might help. Not a problem. I can help you train for it. Self-mastery is the challenge of transforming yourself from your own worst enemy into your greatest ally. Wes Fessler. Be ashamed to die until you have won some victory for humanity. Horace Mann. Not everyone will understand your journey. You must find the place inside yourself where nothing is impossible. Maybe a relationship is just two idiots who don't know a damn thing except the fact they're willing to figure it out together. The privilege of a lifetime is to become who you really are, Carl Jung. I hath indeed mortally wounded yon constable. However, I firmly deny firing a high velocity projectile at his squire. I shot the sheriff, but I did not shoot the deputy. In truth, I'm not my body, my race, religion, or other beliefs, and neither is anyone else. The real self is infinite and much more powerful. A complete and whole entity that isn't broken or damaged in any way. The infinite me already contains all the resources I need to navigate through life because I am one with, with universal energy. In fact, I am universal energy. Anita Morjani. There must be a new revolution. It has to be a revolution of mind and consciousness. A revolution of the individual. An awakening of humanity. It is what the, the individual can do to make a better world by making themselves a better person. I still find each day too short for all the thoughts I want to think all the walks I want to take, all the books I want to read, and all the friends I want to see. John Burroughs. Humanity needs practical men who get the most out of their work and without forgetting the general good safeguard their own interests. But humanity also needs dreamers for whom the disinterested development of an enterprise is so captivating that it becomes impossible for them to devote their care to their own material profit. Marie Curie. A man has to learn that he cannot command things, but that he can command himself. That he cannot coerce the will of others, but that he can mold and master his own will. And, and things serve him who serves truth. People seek guidance of him who is master of himself. James Allen. Spirituality in business sounds lofty. How practical is it? The answer is very. There's a fundamental way in which spirit and consciousness contribute to a worldly success and has long been ignored. 
As experts, authors, and gurus often know, the game of businesses is to influence the external world. But here's the point. You can control your environment if you can't even manage your own thoughts and emotions. In other words, how do you rule the world without first mastering yourself? The cornerstone of effective leadership is self-mastery. Patricia Arberdeen. Self-mastery is a challenge for every individual. Only we can control our appetites and passions. Self-mastery cannot be bought by money or fame. It is the ultimate test of our character. It requires climbing out of the deep valleys of our lives and scaling our own Mount Everest. James E. Faust. An interesting piece of work, freely chosen, which has the virtue of inducing concentration rather than fatigue, adds to the child's energies and mental capacities and leads him to self-mastery. Maria Montessori. <clears throat> Revolution by design and invention is the only revolution tolerable to all men, all societies, and all political systems everywhere. Richard Bucky Buckminster Fuller. Today, we have not only an ecological crisis and various economic crises, but we also have a kind of story crisis. That is to say, there's something very wrong about the way that we understand who we are and our relationship with the earth. David Lloyd. Your own self-realization is the greatest gift you can render the world. Ramana Maharish. Education is the most powerful weapon we can use to change the world. Nelson Mandela. I'm not in search of, of sanctity, sacredness, purity. These things are found after this life, not in this life. But in this life, I search to be completely human, to feel, to give, to take, to laugh, to get lost, to be found, to dance, to love, and to lust, to be so human. See Joy Bell. We do not come into this world. We come out of it as leaves from a tree, as the ocean waves, the universe peoples, every individual's is an expression of the whole realm of nature, a unique action of the total universe. Alan Watts. The greatest revolution of our time is in the way we see the world. The mechanistic paradigm underlying the industrial growth society gives way to the realization that we belong to a living and self-organizing cosmos. Joanna Macy. Humanity is at an evolutionary turning point now, probably the most important moment in our history. We have the knowledge and creative skills needed to transform human society, culture, and technologies and institutions. It requires that we first evolve our thinking, developing a more cosmic and ecological per perspective, one aligned with the universe and nature. Christopher Chase. The complexity of our present trouble suggests as never before that we need to change our present concept of education. Education is not properly an industry and its proper use is not to serve industries either by job training or by industry subsidized research. Its proper use is to enable citizens to live lives that are economically, polit politically, socially and culturally responsible. This cannot be done by gathering or accessing what we now call information, which is to say facts without context, therefore without priority. A proper education enables young people to put their lives in order, which means knowing what things are more important than other things. It means putting first things first. Wendell Berry. The highest and most beautiful things in life are not to be heard about, nor read about, nor seen, but one will, are to be lived, Soren Kierkegaard. Not everyone will understand your journey. Thank you for your time.